Hello guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to use Picolabs in mobile. So we're currently using it on our iPhone, but this also works with the Android version. So we're going to open the Picolabs. Now there are a lot of examples and presets, and we're going to mention some of them. So stick around to the end so you don't miss a thing. Now, when you open your Picolabs for your mobile version, you're going to have some presets and these presets come with visual representations of what you can expect as the result. You have the squish it example, which you have squish it and squish any object. Meaning if you put in a picture, you can squish that object. That really sounds fun. You also have explode it, crumble it, inflate it, melt it, cakeify it. And this is really nice because you could turn any object into a cake once you split it open. You also have deflate it, crush it, and to die it. Now, there are many more that you could give it a try, and this is what Picolabs is all about. So, in order to use it, what we just need to do is to go ahead and tap on any we want. So, we're going to tap on squish any object. So, when you tap on it, it's going to give you an option where you get to pick an image. So, we're going to pick an image of this robot. And when we've added the image, you can just simply go ahead and click on generate. Now, in order to do this successfully, you need to be on a paid subscription. The same goes for any other example. For instance, if you want to crumble something, or if you want to explode something, you can click on explode it, and then tap on pick image, and then select the image. And when you click on generate, this will generate an image for you. So once you get your subscription ready with Picolabs, you can go ahead and explore and enjoy all the fun that comes with generating these different outcomes. So this is how to use Picolabs in mobile.